El Paso's finest. It's a local store that showcases local art, and now it's reaching international customers. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela and chief photojournalist Johnny Munoz share how it all came to be in this edition of El Chuco Inspirations. Just saw it as fun. It was just something that I did as a hobby, as fun, stay entertained. I loved it. But then as I grew older, I started thinking, man, I, I, I see these people that do it for a living. Man, it's got to be so cool to live off your art, to just make art. And that's just what I thought. And one day when I was maybe in high school, I thought maybe I, it's something I could do. Why not if others have been able to do it? Growing up, Moises Garcia became inspired by the beauty of architecture after helping his father build a home. Then began developing his skills as an artist that's led him to opportunities catering to his passion. So I've kind of come to a point where I was able to make a living using my, my both my passions, which is the mathematical aspect of, of art, the drafting, the illustration, and the looser, fine art, painting, and teaching is something that I have always enjoyed as well, being able to show others things that I've learned and uh, the real enjoyment of seeing others grow as artists as well. You can notice Garcia's love for realism art in his paintings, such as these Frida Kahlo pieces. Portraits, one of his favorite ways of expressing his craft. It goes back to what I loved when I was a little kid. You know, it's just that figure drawing is, is very precise to that person. You know, I love it when I'm able to do a commission, a portrait, and that person's like, that's me. That, that looks exactly like me. When I do a portrait in particular, I like to talk to the person. If it's some, somebody that's with us still, I like to talk to them. I like to get to know their personality because to me it comes out on the picture as I'm working. I like to remember, oh, they were quirky or they were very serious. And as I'm painting them, it, it really helps me to paint them. Along the way, Garcia's work and teachings became part of a local store named El Paso's Finest. Owned by an El Paso photographer, Ruben Gomez. El Paso's Finest, the name kind of came from like, well, I want to feature the finest of El Paso, like the finest artist, the finest craftsman. <laughs> I've had people come from New York, from Australia, from all over the world that have bought in something from the store. I originally opened it up three and a half years ago with furniture from my home, and I invited all the friends that I've made at the farmer's markets and art shows to kind of fill up the walls because I didn't want it just to be me. I wanted a space to provide for everyone that is creating something. During tough times, both artists are encouraging others to take a shot at expressing themselves the best way they know how. If you're an artist, just keep sketching, even if it's napkin sketching at a restaurant, in your living room. Keep working, keep grinding and grinding, because the more you grind, the better you're going to get. For El Chuco Inspirations, I'm Tatiana Favela with KTSM 9 News.